Hey, Walter Sorrells back with another Knife Makers Friday Five. Today, Jake's Toolbox. So I really don't like letting my personal life bleed into my work, but today the whole point of this video is to talk about the intersection between who you are and what you do. So in that vein, uh, some of you may have noticed that I haven't been posting as many videos on uh, YouTube recently, uh, really over the past year probably. The main reason for this is that my dad has Alzheimer's and I've just been really running back and forth uh, to my hometown a lot lately. It's kind of accelerated over the last uh, couple of months. We finally had to put him into a nursing home. It was really one of the most agonizing things I've ever done in my life. Um, if there's a tiny, tiny silver lining in this though, um, it's that I can kind of settle my schedule back down again now that he's being taken care of. And uh, hopefully that's going to mean more YouTube videos for you. Now, on a happier front, my son, uh, Jake, just turned 21 years old. And so as a gift to celebrate his arrival at this big number, I set out to make a set of tools and a toolbox for him. Now, I'll be putting out a bunch of videos over the next month, maybe two months, showing how that project came together. Anyway, these two sets of events, what happened with my dad and uh, my son's birthday, one, you know, very joyful and the other really pretty miserable, kind of got me thinking about uh, family, you know, what we learn and what we teach uh, and who we end up becoming as people. You know, I know some parents who do a lot of preaching to their kids ethics, morality, how to rebuild a carburetor, whatever it might be. And honestly, I never really did too much of that, and neither did my parents. Sometimes I feel bad about it because I feel like maybe I didn't clarify some things about you know what I believe. But on the whole, I think you really learn more about that stuff by watching what your parents do than by listening to them talk. Um, you know, if your dad gives you a whole lot of big speeches about how to be a good person and then he cheats on your mom, which one of those is going to register louder? So, you know, if there's a kind of finger wagging lesson in this box of tools uh, that I gave to my son Jake for his 21st birthday, and there sort of is, it's that I believe it's really important to try to solve your own problems. You know, sometimes you can't, sometimes you run out of energy, money, hope, whatever it might be, uh, but that ought to be the default approach. I mean, doing things for yourself. Having tools, taking care of them, learning what to do with them. You know, to me, there are very few models for how to be a human being uh, that are better than just working with tools. Now, that may sound a little goofy, but when a kid sees his dad working with tools, and obviously it could be mom, dad, grandpa, uncle, Freddy, whoever, you don't have to tell a kid anything. It's right there in front of you. The kid gets the message that the world can be molded, it can be fixed, it can be improved if you just show a little, you know, diligence and use your brain. Tools just don't BS you. You either fix the carburetor or you didn't. And, you know, the thing about that is there's no negotiating, there's no politicking, there's no special dispensation because you know, daddy was a millionaire, there's no grade curve because you check some box or you endured some hardship or you look a certain way, you either fixed it or you didn't. There's a certain cruelty to that logic if you want to look at it that way, but it's kind of clarifying too. My dad had a couple boxes of tools and some of them came down from my grandfather and so on. And You know, dad showed me a few, a few things about how to work them, uh, but on the whole, he was not really a tool guy. Still, he was a really creative and self-defined person, and I learned a lot by watching him figure out how to live his own life. You know, what I mean by that is it wasn't ever a cheap imitation of somebody else's life. So if there's any lesson that I hope that my son learns from me, it's the one that I learned from my dad, which is if there's any road to contentment, it's just living your life your way. And I think it's stuck. I mean, I'm proud as hell of my son. Jake's his own man. He's nothing like me. And I'm not going to tell you that when he was a kid, we didn't spend some time out in the shop swearing and throwing tools. And, you know, it was not all happy music out there. But that's okay. When Jake opens his toolbox and pulls out a screwdriver, I don't want him thinking about trying to be the guy who made those tools. No, I want him to think about trying to fix his stuff 
with his tools, make his world, do it his way. I don't want to be too political here, but these days you turn on the TV and you're just bombarded with ads and news stories and movies and stuff about people who just don't seem to have any compunction to carry the weight of their own lives. Uh, you know, here's some law firm that'll help you soak the insurance company after you had some little fender bender. Here's some criminal getting called a hero after he commits a crime and provokes a confrontation with cops and gets shot. Here's how you can get a disability check because your back's sore. Here's a street full of drug addicts who get called victims when they pitch tents in the middle of a street and then crap on other people's yards. I'm really a tolerant guy and a pretty liberal-minded person, but man, I'm kind of sick of it. So, look, we're all part of society, and we all have some measure of responsibility for each other, but that's not a license to be a parasite or to just tear things down. You gotta build things. And that's why I feel gratitude every time I walk into my shop. My tools, my life, my successes, my failures. Every time you pick up a tool, you're making a statement. This is me, this is my life, I'm responsible. You know, we're all stumbling along, just trying to do our best, and sometimes it sucks. Sometimes you make a bad decision. Sometimes you do the right thing and it doesn't bear fruit. Sometimes you don't know the right path to take, the right way to do something. You screw something up, you fail, you fall, you bust your knuckles, you know, trying to crank open that rusty old bolt. They used to just call that life. It was expected. Sometimes you were going to fail. Sometimes you were going to get smashed. Sometimes misfortune was going to come to you. So, so long as he's able, you know, I hope that Jake's going to keep reaching into that box of tools and trying to fix his problems by himself. So if you're interested in seeing how I made some of the tools that I gave Jake, I've posted a link to the playlist down in the cards, up in the description, wherever it is. But uh, as of today, there are only a couple. I'll be doing more over the coming uh, weeks, so check back and you'll be able to find some more. Anyway, thanks for watching, and keep busting your knuckles on those rusty bolts. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure that you click on that bell so you get notified of all the latest videos. Want to buy a knife from me? Check out my modern blades at tacticsarmory.com. Digging the channel? You can support our video making efforts on Patreon. You know, I've been banging away on these videos for like 10 years, so I hope you'll show some love for all that hard work. Link in the cards and descriptions. Finally, if you're interested in making Japanese swords, check out my full line of Japanese sword videos where I show how to forge Japanese swords as well as how to polish them and how to make fittings, handles, and scabbards. WalterSorrelsBlades.com